qualities? Yes. What, what are they? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Uh, he really, really cares about his daughter. He has a very strange way of uh, going about it, but he really cares about her. I think you'll see um, along the way that he's trying to set her up to succeed, even though it looks like she's, he's, it might be for failure, but he's, he's getting her to prove herself in many ways. I, mean, I think he realizes that whether she likes it or not, she's very much like him. Um, and yeah, so there's that. Um, he also has really good suits. <laughs> How's he gonna react when he finds out that Archie's left town? Can you talk about the experience of watching the Midnight Club episode? Not only to see your son like, you know, take on this role, but also to see all these young actors taking on the challenge of... Yeah. yeah. Um, first of all, that was uh, a thrill for me. I mean, thrills, I, I mean, there's so many adjectives I can use to describe how that felt for my, my wife and I just to, to have our son, this kid, you know, that was just this, you know, he's going to film school, he's not interested in acting at all, and then he was making, like, you know, he was a PA on a show in LA for, you know, a summer job, and uh, he got an opportunity, he said, hey dad, they asked me to audition for the job, and he gets there, and there's, he said, he called me up, he said, dad, there's so many kids here, they look exactly like me. And they go, they actually look really like you a lot. I go, that's called casting. That's how they do it. <laughs> um, and he went and did it. And I was so proud of him that he went through the experience. And um, he had the best time here. He really did. The kids, the guys, the other actors are very much, KJ and him are practically the same age. I think two weeks apart. Um, and they got along so well. Um, and just to see him do that, I don't know. It's like a, it's a bucket list moment for a dad, you know, in this business. I never thought I would be able to do that, to have him play a younger me, a better looking, way better <laughs> me. Um, but that was great. Um, and I love that set. I love that, that, um, that, that Bonne Nuit set. I think it's really, really cool. Um, the other actors playing the, the, their parents, I think, I mean, we have such good, they're such good actors. I think KJ is such a good, um, he can do anything. He's really funny, serious. Um, he's a great mimic. He, what he did wasn't wasn't like an imp impersonation of Luke, but it was an impersonation of Luke. It really was. <laughs> and he's so good, and I think all the actors did such a good job um, playing their their parents. I, I, it was my, it's been my favorite episode. I, I mean, I was such a fan watching that. It was so well done. I'm was so great. impressed. Was Speaking it also on your? Members, oh, I'm sorry. Speaking of family members, can you kind of preview your character getting a mistress? How that dynamic works, working with Kelly. Oh man, she, you know, she, yes, I'm very excited about that. Um, she said, are you sure? You should have a really young, I'm like, no, <laughs> you're the perfect, uh, but she was joking. Um, no, I'm really excited about her coming on the show. Um, and I don't know, she's great. She's always great to work with. We've, you know, it's been, it's been a, quite a while since we've had a chance to work together, um, but I'm looking forward to it. Of all of the parents, Hiram probably has the most source material for you to look at in the comics. Is that something that you did before you took the gig? I did not. I did not. I, I spoke to um, Roberto a lot, and that's my source material. Um, he, I don't think there's anybody that knows th this world better than... I mean, it's rivaled. He, I would like to meet the person that knows this world <laughs> better than him. And he gave me all the information I needed. We talked for <coughs> a long, long time about the character. Um, I know it's a departure um, physically from from the original Hiram. Um, you know, so is the whole Lodge family, except for I guess uh, Veronica was you know like that. But I love what they've done with the family. Of, of course, I'm I'm partial. <laughs> um, but no, it's one, to date it's one of my favorite characters to play. Um, I've rarely been given the opportunity to dive into the treachery <laughs> and the villain, the villainy, villainry. Which which is the right word? Villainy. Villainy. Villainy? Yeah, th it's so much fun. It's really really fun. There's everything Hiram has done just to get Archie out of his way. He's brought him into a mafia. He's framed him for murder. He physically wrestled him in a yeah. high school gymnasium. Like, <laughs> is there a length he won't go to to just get rid of the pest that is Archie Andrews in his life? Yeah, I think he represents a lot to to Hiram. I think he represents um, probably Fred to him. Who you know did a lot as far as he's concerned while he was in prison that really hasn't been uh, figured out. Um, so maybe there's a little bit of that. Um, I think he'll go at it to any length. I mean, 
um, it gets darker. It gets really, really dark. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see how, like, how can these guys ever coexist in the same town. So that's that. There's again a lot of real estate. It seems like you and like the young cast of the show are really close off screen. So does that make it kind of does that change how you like get into being the villain around them or like? And it change no, it makes it so much fun. We laugh so much. I mean, the stuff is pretty heavy sometimes, but especially the stuff with KJ and I, um, or with KJ and me, um, we, you know, there's some really heavy stuff, and we'll like have to stop sometimes. We're like, that's really funny because we're such good friends. Um, no, I think it just makes it makes the it makes it that more interesting, uh, and we have we always have a blast shooting those really those, you know, um, or where uh, Luke gets to punch me in the face. That was so fun. <laughs> that was so great. I mean, for me, that's like a big moment to have Luke Perry punch me. <laughs> I think the only thing that rivals that, when I think I did an episode of Law & Order SVU, and I was escaping out of a windowsill and a fire escape and iced tea. <laughs> points a gun at me and says, stop before I shoot your ass. <laughs> I'm like, that's a check mark right there. And then there's Luke Perry getting punched by Luke Perry. So, no, it makes, I think that it's a very tight cast. Um, everybody. So I think it just makes it more fun. Is it a little surreal to kind of realize that because of how popular this show is, <laughs> in 20 years there's going to be an actor talking about like Lily and KJ that way? Yeah, I think, you know, I've done a lot of cool stuff. Um, some things that I really, really love, no one ever saw. You know what I mean? So it's nice to be on a show that you love and that everyone's seeing. It's pretty cool. Um, it doesn't happen very often in my 25 years of doing this. It's rare. Um, you know, I was in Greece this summer, um, and we're just going from little island to island. Some islands had a lot of population, some islands had no one there. Just, just very little population, and they get the show there. The, the reach is really far, you know, between the CW and Netflix. It's a big, big reach. So I think that was, uh, you know, it's worldwide. Um, and it, it, it's, it's, it's interesting to see that, yeah, in 20 years, they're going to be, it's like going to be that, that version of Luke, for sure. They'll have to. They'll have to like. They'll never shake that. Yeah. They'll always be Jughead and and, uh, and Betty. <laughs>